everyone, welcome to this new video to talk about Data Cloud and the web, web and mobile SDK that you can integrate. So as you know, uh, Salesforce Data Cloud provides a service that allows you to collect and track uh, your users uh, when they are browsing your website or when they are um, using your mobile app and you can collect and aggregate data, uh, behavioral data, demographic data, and, um, and also um, everything related to how they are interacting the web with the website. So as you can see here, I just create a new connector name called uh, Sky Connector V4 and I specify that it's for my website. Then I will come to upload a schema. So here it's a JSON file that is provided by Salesforce and that will allow you to create objects, objects that contain a field, attribute field that can be filled out when the user is browsing your website or uh, your app. So as you can see here, like for example, we want to collect information regarding the cart, um, the consent, if they agree to uh, have their data collected, the order, the order item, the contact point email for everything that is regarding uh, related to their email address and more. So we will click save. And then uh, what we will do is uh, directly show you how it looks like. So this is a JSON file. This is what we just uploaded uh, into um, like the connector. Now, what we will go do is we will go into the home screen of Data Cloud and we will create new streams. So for that, we will just click create new stream, click on website next. And here I will come to select my V4 connector that we just created together. And I will select all the different objects that are available, such as cart, catalog, consent, contact point, email. So this is data stream that will receive the data collected from the web SDK on your website or mobile app. As you can see here, we have different events of object that will be receiving this data. We can click on next. And now we have a view on uh, the events that will be added, uh, that will be receiving data and also all the different data streams that we will deploy uh, to collect this data into the system from the web SDK. So we click on develop. And while we are doing that, we will go back to Data Cloud. And as you can see, we have an integration guide here. So what we want to do is to add this in the header of our website. So I will just log in to the Sky website. As you can see at Sky, we are using a WordPress website and I've created uh, a script that will allow us to uh, trigger the SDK, to call the SDK in the header. So the SDK is like this. So it's a script that will be calling the URL uh, that is a JavaScript uh, file um, in order to load it in every page of the header. We will also have another script to force the consent of the user. So obviously this is a demonstration. This is not what we will use in production, but just to do testing, we will make sure that every time the user is browsing the website, the consent is already approved so that we can focus on tracking the external part. But obviously uh, this is not what we will do in production. Okay, so that's pretty good. I can log out, log out from the website and I will just show you um, this is basically the script. So I'm not sure why this is here, but this is the script that we are uh, adding into the header of every page of our website in order to call the web SDK. Uh, once I have this script that is enabled, I should be able to, uh, to have a look at my data stream. As you can see, the V4 connector are correctly uh, created and ready to ingest data. Now, what I will do as a next step is um, going into the Sky website and start to load the, um, the sitemap. So as you know, we will have to create a sitemap in order to uh, track customer interaction. This is the sitemap that we have created here. And as a cookie domain, we are using the URL uh, that is provided from Salesforce uh, at the bottom of the page here. So I will just um, open uh, Sky website, Tac. okay, and I will be able to use this Chrome extension. So this Chrome extension is a sitemap editor. This is um, available on Google Chrome, and this is usually what we do, what we use when we work with Marketing Cloud personalization and um, the rest of the, and, and also Salesforce Data Cloud that we use to call CDP. So I will just use that open the sitemap editor 
and load uh, my sitemap. I will just show you at the end of the video just to make sure uh, because I think I'm using a Chrome extension to record this video, so it's not the best. But uh, like otherwise, I will have some bugs such as my camera that turn off. So I will just copy my sitemap that I've created and I will come to my, um, my connector and I will be uploading my sitemap here. Up, I click save. And now that I've clicked save, as you can see, my sitemap is available here and the connector status is in use. So it's a good sign. It means uh, we are able to uh, start interacting with the website. So now let's say that I'm going on the website. I browse it. And what we will do is explore the data that we collect from this uh, browsing experience. So I would just need to go into, uh, so as you can see, like I will use my V1 connector for, the, for this video, but it's exactly as if I'm using the V4, it's just to not lose time. As you can see, I already have some records that are populated here in the behavioral event because I have not logged in, I have not identified my information. So at this stage, it's only browsing. And what I can do is I can go into the profile explorer. I can select default. Um, sorry, data explorer. Yeah. I will go in data explorer. I will select a data lake object because at this stage, it's not mapped to a data model object. And then I will select um, the V1 uh, connector that is related to behavior. Uh, so I'm searching for it right now. Party identification, contact point, contact point, behavior. That's this one. So I click on that one. And as you can see here, I've started to accumulate uh, data related to consent. Uh, so all these users that have used the, my website have consent to share information. And that can be all the data that are like when they log into the website, when they sign up to the website, all this data, we aggregate it and we receive it into the web SDK. Then we push it into a data stream. And then the ID will be um, that we go in the behavioral event and uh, that we start to map this field with our data model object. So I will, like, if I identify with my own email address, for example, I will be able uh, to use, like, the contact point email or the individual uh, object. So uh, email, if I, if I just write email, we should have something. I'm not sure where it is, but um, that's the ID. We connect that, and then we will be able to track that our user, for example, Arthur, um, like, interacted with the app, interacted with the website on top of opening the email, on top of um, um, like like ordering a product, for, for example. So we have really like this overview uh, across all the components of the organization that allows us to provide a personalized experience to uh, our user. So that's basically, um, that's basically what we can do, as you can see, um, like using like the web SDK, we are able to uh, aggregate the data from uh, the user. So just to finish on this video, I will just show you uh, the web SDK sitemap. So if I'm opening it in here, you will be able to see that here I have an anonymous ID. So it's basically data cloud saying, I'm not sure who is this user, but this user is currently interacting with the website. And as soon as the user share contact information, such as an email address, a phone number, then I will um, pull all this data, map it to the customer profile, and then provide a more personalized experience. Um, so that's pretty much it for the web SDK uh, within Data Cloud. If you have any question, please let us know, and thank you for watching this video.